it's Kim, notes from my needle. It's Wednesday, January 15th. Just thought I'd pop on and do a quick update. Uh, I've been focusing on hands-on design, block party mend. Uh, finished this motif yesterday. Added in all of this um, measuring tape. I do have to go back and do the back stitching to put the lines in. And then I almost finished this motif today. Um, after I'm done this, there's a little bit more measuring tape and one more motif. Then I just need to go back and do the back stitching here. And there is uh, back stitching that goes around the entirety of this rectangular piece, um, which I believe is replicated on both the top and the bottom. But I think that's basically so like you can sew it all together, similar to how you would stitch together a biscornu through the back stitching. Um, yeah, so that is all I have for now, and talk to you in the next clip. It's Thursday, January 16th. Thought I'd give you an update on how Mend is coming along. I've completely finished all of the stitching now, including the back stitching on the measuring tape. I apparently messed that up somewhere, but I can't tell where, and it looks fine to me, so I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm not even going to worry about it. Uh, I did start doing the back stitching here. I'm not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. I don't know. It says to use Weeks Dye Works Cappuccino for that, but I feel like that's a waste of that floss. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull this out and maybe pull what the DMC equivalent is for that particular color. It won't be variegated, but you're not really going to notice it when it's just being used in back stitching in order to construct the block after it's completed. So I think I'm going to reserve what I have in that Week Style Works Cappuccino and pull out the DMC, which is considerably cheaper. So I'm just going to pan through this so you can get a feel for the motifs. I actually really enjoyed this. I don't know why I put it away for so long. I think those spools of thread with the needles going through are my favorite part. I don't know. I'm pretty partial to that sewing machine too though. I really like how it's how it turned out. It's my first time using fancy floss for anything. And I'm really pleased with it. I want to actually try I bought some fancy floss for Lizzie Kate's Boo Club, and I have that all kitted up, but I haven't started it yet, so maybe I'll pull that out this year and work on it. I don't know. Um, this is all I've been working on for the past couple of days, so I think I'm going to put this aside for a little bit and uh, pull out Coffee Quaker, or maybe another whip, and give that a go for maybe the rest of the week. And if I work on something else, I will throw an update in. Bye for now. It's Friday, January 17th. Just wanted to give you a little progress update. I pulled out the Magical Unicorn by Joan Elliott. I've filled in all of this darker green within here. Um, lighter gray within here and along this leg. This dark gray in the hoof. As well as all this purple for flowers similar to what goes on on this side. So it's coming along fairly nicely. Hoping to put a few more lengths of thread into this one before I put it away until maybe next week. I might uh, start working on this one on Fridays. Haven't fully decided yet. We'll see what happens. Anyway, that's all for now. Just another quick little update. I worked on Coffee Quaker. I put in this section here. I did end up having to pull out this line here. I'd put it down one too low and realized and went back. Um, I don't know, like I'm using a small needle for these tiny holes on this 18 count. It's a John James Petite 28 and it's the gold plated one. Um, I actually really don't like the gold plated one. I find it snags on the fabric. Um, but this was all I could get and I cannot find for the life of me what I did with my silver ones in this size. So I'm stuck using that one for the time being. So I don't know if anybody has any tips on how to make stitching with those needles, the gold-plated ones, smoother. Because I had assumed that them being gold-plated 
meant that they would be smoother through the fabric. So I'm not sure if it's my fabric or if it's my floss because it's a hand dyed and maybe the dye affected the fibers of the floss. Um, if you could let me know in the comments below what you think the issue might be, I would appreciate it. I am stitching this on 18 count Ada with one strand. So it's not that I'm using like too many strands of floss and that's why it's kind of dragging through because there's too much trying to be forced through that small hole. So if anybody has any tips, I'd greatly appreciate it. That's all I have for now. It's Saturday, January 18th. I haven't done a whole lot of stitching yet, but I have done some sewing, so I thought I would pop on and show you that. My daughter requested some new scrunchies, so I just made a couple with this cool fabric. She picked out these anchors, these pink starfish. Um, this is actually a UV fabric. It'll change color in the sun. So yeah, pretty pleased with how they turned out. Haven't made scrunchies since the 90s, but you know what? They're back in. She wanted them, and I had the stuff to do it, so why not? I am going to do a little bit more sewing today. I think I'm going to make myself another project bag. Um, maybe a case for some th bobbinated threads. I haven't decided yet. And if any of that happens, I will throw an update on here. Just another quick little update. I made myself this Alice in Wonderland project bag today. Quilted it. Really like how the quilting looks on the back. Um, only my second time doing binding. Um, is it perfect? No, but it's mine, so I really don't care. I mean, my join here is a little bit sketchy, which is why I added that extra line of stitching just up the top. And I mean, it kind of plays off the extra line of stitching I put on either side of the zipper and on either side down where the fabric attaches to the vinyl, but I really like how this turned out. Um, I mean, it's a smaller bag. It's probably, it's definitely smaller than an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, but bigger than a five by seven. So like mid range in between those two sizes. And yeah, it's just great to have another project bag and I have the materials, so I might as well use up what I have. Um, yeah. And that's all I have for now. It's Sunday, January 19th, and this is going to be the last clip in this video. Just wanted to give another update on hands-on design, block party mend. I've started on the top now. Um, this is my first time doing Smyrna crosses. I'll just go in a little bit closer. I'm super pleased with them. They're actually so much fun to do. I don't know why I was so intimidated by them. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I just have this to finish, then uh, back stitch around it, finish back stitching around the rectangular panel, and then there is a bottom piece that just requires back stitching as well, just to piece it all together, but there's no actual stitching. So I'm hoping actually maybe to get this completed um, this coming week. We'll see how that goes. If that happens, I will be sure to update you. And I just want to thank you for watching. I've gotten a uh, quite a few more subscribers over the past couple of weeks and I just want to say thank you. It really means a, a lot that people are enjoying the videos that I'm making and uh, with that being said I hope you're getting some stitchy time in wherever you are and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!